Kenny and today I'm going to show you another simple side dish. This is my roasted butternut squash. I love butternut squash and I love to make easy side dishes because a lot of times we want to put a lot of time into our, our main dish. So we want to keep the side dishes simple but really good and colorful. I love to do colorful side dishes and this is definitely one of those. It's perfect for this time of year in the fall and winter. Uh, it's a great Christmas dish. So let me show you how to get started. This is our butternut squash. This is a very large butternut squash. They really vary in size, but I'm going to go ahead and peel this and I'm gonna get six cups of it. So what you're gonna do is take your vegetable peeler and just peel right down that skin. And you can see that uh, sort of dark yellow color. That's the color that we actually wanna get. So if you peel it and you don't have a very sharp peeler, you may wanna kinda of go through twice because you really want that deep yellow color to be on the outside. And I would definitely recommend getting one of these vegetable peelers. They are much easier than those traditional potato peelers. This makes it way, way quicker. Okay, now that I have this whole thing peeled, you can see the great color on the outside. What I'm gonna do is just cut the bottom off, just like that. And what you're gonna see is some of this filling in here that kinda looks like a pumpkin. And I'm going to basically cut this in half Gotta have a sharp knife for this. <laughs> and it's gonna look like this on the inside, okay? And you're gonna see those little seeds. And what I'm gonna do is just take a regular spoon and just scoop the seeds out. Just like that. And make sure you get all those little strings out. Perfect. Put that in my little trash bowl. Very convenient when you're cooking. Okay, perfect. Now that I've got the insides out of both of the halves, I'm just gonna cut the little top off it in the trash bowl and then I'm just going to start cutting them up. I want to cube them to where they're all basically the same size and I like to start always put the flat end on your cutting board just like this. It makes it a lot easier to cut. It's not going to roll around on you. I'm just going to get this chopped up. All right just finishing up the last bit of the um, butternut squash and I try to get these roughly about the same size. You want to do maybe about three quarter inch cubes. Whichever size you do, you want to make sure they're all sort of that same size. That way they cook evenly. So what I'm going to add to this when we roast these is some onion. I've got half an onion here. Uh oh, half an onion. <laughs> and I'm just going to chop it. I don't have to chop it real small. I actually kind of like it a little bit bigger so it's almost the same size as the, um, the squash. And the reason for that is just that we're cooking at this at a really high temperature. So we don't want to do little a minced onion or really finely chopped because the little onions will just burn. And we want to make sure that the pieces are in there and that you can taste them. So about that, that size. All right. I'll just put those right on top of the butternuts. Nice. And some fresh sage. And this is really sort of the key to this. When you're going to do a simple dish like this and you're going to roast vegetables, you want to make sure you have some really strong flavors in there. And you want to use really good ingredients because we're not using a lot of different spices and seasonings. So the ones that we do use, we want to make sure that they're really going to flavor the butternut squash really well. So this is really delicious. It smells wonderful. It's a great thing to buy over the holidays. And um, it just makes you happy. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do take some leaves off. And I'm gonna get about a tablespoon and a half of the um, sage leaves. If you like a stronger sage flavor, you could do more. But I think this is plenty. I don't have to chop these up real fine. You know, just, just about like that size. All right, got that in there. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get one of my sheet pans. I've got two sheet pans. If you have a really large sheet pan, you, only, you may only need one. But you don't want this to be crowded. You want to make sure that all the butternut squash has room to really roast instead of steam. If they're all stacked up on top of each other, then it'll steam instead of roast. Okay. Pour some of these out. I might be okay with one. Yeah, that's plenty. They don't have to be, it's okay if they're touching. I just don't want them to be stacked on top of each other. Now I'm going to get about two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil on here. 
and a tablespoon of maple syrup. And this is just gonna give a nice rich sweetness to it. I'm just adding a little bit because as these roasts, they're actually gonna get sweeter. That's what I love about roasting vegetables is it really brings out the natural flavors instead of sort of taking it away like sometimes the steaming or boiling vegetables do. And the pure maple syrup is fantastic. That's maple syrup, not table syrup, <laughs> okay? All right, and if you wanted to use honey, if you didn't have maple syrup, you could do that as well. Okay, and we're gonna do about three quarters teaspoon of salt, kosher salt I'm using. That salt's just gonna bring out the sweetness of the butternut. And some fresh ground pepper, of course, however much you like. And perfect, we're gonna get this in the oven at 425 for 12 minutes, then I'll check it and toss them around, and then we'll probably do another 10 to 12 minutes, okay? Okay, this has just come out of the oven. It looks great. I cooked it for a total of about 24 minutes. So I checked it at the, the 12 minute mark and then cooked it for another 12 minutes. It has turned out great. And see how pretty it looks on the plate. I just love these kind of dishes. It smells good, yum. Okay, I'm gonna give it a try. You guys make sure and check out avonwinkney.com for more simple side dishes. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can get an email every time I do a new recipe. <laughs> Thanks.